Yo, so what is going on guys, it is me Morgan here, welcome back to a new video. So today is not going to be a usual match vlog, match reaction or GTA 5 gameplay. It's going to be a sit down video talking about a player that is well known at the Crown Royal Arena, a player that we've not seen play since Charleston Athletic in a league match and uh, the last time I saw Josh play was pre-season against Huddersfield, yes, I'm just giving it away. The video is about Josh Lewis, the guy who's on the back of my shirt. There you go. Um, yeah. Now, let's talk about Josh himself. Now, there's been hundreds of rumours. There's been um, about injuries. He's leaving. He's a third choice keeper. And this is new. And this is what I believe might happen. Because last night, as I was, before I planned to record this, I found out our goalkeeping coach has left. So, you know, all this has got to build to one thing about Josh. Um, obviously, I'll talk about a bit more Josh in a minute. I, at first, I'm just going to give a bit of history on Josh and how he came to be part of Rochelle AFC and why he chose to stay at Rochelle. Right, so here we got Josh's club history. So yes, he did sign from Scunthorpe United in June 2012, joined us July 2012 and saved us ever since. Right, so now I'm going on to the reasons why I like Josh so much, I respect him so much. He's such a humble guy. Um, basically, when I first decided to start vlogging and watching Rochelle properly, like coming to every match, blah, blah, blah. Um, one player that stood out for me was Josh, so I decided to get his shirt. I've even got it signed by him there, there's the signature, um, Josh Willis. So, and he inspired me to do a bit of goalkeeping myself. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's nice to be inspired by people because as soon as you get inspired by people, you go try it for yourself. Trust me, it's 100% worth it. Find someone to be inspired by and get their advice and do it yourself. It is amazing. That's exactly why I love Josh so much. I respect him so much. Um, there's another reason why, obviously, uh, I like Josh as well. is because every time I've met him, he's just been so nice, so polite. He's signed everything for me, pretty much. The only thing I haven't got signed is my phone case, which is actually got me and Josh together at the back. Um, and yeah, I just find Josh a really, really nice man and a nice footballer. Right, so this was what I got the night before recording this. I checked Rochelle FC website and this is what happened. Our goalkeeping coach, Steve Collins, has left the club. Right, so obviously with that being looked at, um, this is where I think Josh can come in and become a goalkeeping coach because of his age. Is, I think he's 32 this year. I'm pretty sure he is, or 33 even. I don't know exactly how old he is, but I'd reckon... You know what, he could actually become the goalkeeping coach because we use Robert Sanchez as our first choice keeper and second Jay Lynch and Josh Lewis as our third. But that all depends if Sanchez stays and signs a contract with us. Don't know if it's going to happen yet, but who, who can predict? We never know, we could have Sanchez um, again next season. And that's where Lily's going to step in and be a coach for Sanchez and um, Lynch because Sanchez being young age of 22, um, and Josh having experience of being a championship goalkeeper before, because I'm pretty sure Scunthorpe were in the championship back in 2012. I'm not, even, I'm not too sure. I think they were, but I'd reckon it would be good for Sanchez and Lynch to learn off an older guy. Say, take Josh for example. I mean, he's had so many good experience, Josh, and he's got to share them with Sanchez and Lynch. And to be honest, they could make good goalkeepers. The pair of them, Lynch and Sanchez. Um, by Josh Lillis just coaching him. So that's why I'm going Josh Lillis as a goalkeeping coach. Who knows? I can't predict the future, guys. I wish I could, but I can't. So it's just what I think of um, the situation. And now we're going to go on to the injury. Obviously, what I picked up last season. Right, so last season, Josh did pick up an injury. It was down at Walsall, where we won 2-1. Um... I don't really know what happened, I can't remember what happened, but it must have done something because he didn't play until booming. when was his first match back? I think it was against either Sunderland or Wickham, his first match back. But, um, obviously, you know, we got um, 
Mr. Andrew Loddy getting on loan from Middlesbrough at the time that he is now in Premier League with Liverpool as a third choice keeper. I'll insert a photo of Andy Lonergan when he played for Rochelle. So we had Andy Lonergan from, I can't even remember when we got him. I think it was sometime in March. Um, I'm pretty sure we got him, no we didn't, we got him February, March time. Um, and then we had him until Scunthorpe United at home. But it was his last match against Scunthorpe. I'll leave a link to the vlog down below. Obviously, that injury must have done Josh a bit of damage because it didn't look. It looks all right for some matches that he played. His remaining last matches of the season. But when he came on for pre-season, he didn't look fit. He looks proper injured, and it it wasn't nice to see. But um, Obviously, that injury must have um, made him have a step back and maybe it's, the injury's just on him. I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't know that injury must have done him some serious damage because it's it's been ages since I've seen Josh. It's been six months since I've last seen Josh play. Six months. That's mad. But now we're going to get on to the rumour about him moving to clubs. Right, so obviously this is a big topic around about October time. And um, especially coming up to Christmas, October, November time. Josh Lewis moving from Rochelle. Now, obviously the big club um, would be Bolton Wanderers. Or because obviously Keith Hill, Rochelle's former manager. Keith and Josh used to get on so well. But what I've heard is um, towards the end of Keith Hill's side at Oh, God. At Rochelle was um, they weren't getting on. They didn't like each other, and um, I, I can't say this is a hundred percent true. But I don't know. I'm not Mister Magical with the one that knows everything. Um, but my mate Dan Howarth, shout out to you, Dan Howarth, who's watching. I asked him, and he goes, "Oh, he's still injured." And then Ethan Browley said, "Oh, he's using the third choice keeper." So shout out to Ethan Browley as well for giving me an update on that. Um, now. I don't think Josh will leave Rochelle. I think he'll stay at Rochelle to the end of his football career. Um, obviously, he might retire at the end of the season and become a goalkeeping coach. That's what I predict. I'm not too sure. It might not happen. But if it does, it does. Uh, I can't do anything about it. I can't be... I can't chuck a magic potion on Josh to help him recover. I wish I could, because he's an outstanding goalkeeper. Like, Sanchez and Lynch are all outstanding goalkeepers. Um, so, yeah, that's what... That's basically all the rumours I've debunked in this video. Right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. Right, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Leave your comments down below what you think will happen to Josh Lewis. Personally, I think he'll stay and become on to become the goalkeeping coach. I don't think he'll go. Um, I think he'll become a goalkeeping coach. And yeah, I'm, just, I'm keen to know what you think down below about this because obviously you've just heard what I said. Um, and yeah, I really hope he does become a goalkeeping coach because I reckon he would make a good goalkeeping coach. But I'm going to leave this video here. Remember to leave your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.